guess what? I got one out of baseball. Go look at the score list yesterday. There was only one. If you just put in Major League Baseball on Google and look at the scorecard, there was only one game where it's one to zero. My state name was actually in that zero. I was one out due to low finance, poverty, and now they're trying to say I'm a con artist and all of this other stuff because of the fact that my finances never got up and my videos and parents and all this other stuff that they base this stuff on credit wise just never reached that thousand dollar point but that thousand dollar a day point that they want me to get so it's never it's never really um, hit that, that goal and um, I'm not even here to try to even really even raise any money I just want to let everyone know essentially pretty much what happened in this scenario with the sports I was one out of it double, triple, quadruple team, it doesn't really matter. So I'm through when it comes to trading, sports, investing in the sports, and all of that type of stuff. I'll drop videos and information. You know, if I'm contacted personally, literally, I'm really planning for this to be my last video, serious. I'm tired from all of this stuff because it was done to me because I'm a sovereign because of my situation of being financially free. And everyone teamed up on me, every freaking secret society or Masonic group or whatever the case may be, voted and teamed up and I was one down in the league yesterday. So that's essentially how they did it. And that's how I look, I take it very personal. I'm not gonna go into what team, I'm not gonna name any teams. I'm just saying major league baseball. It was what I was uh, trading and betting on through this channel and it's no more. I'm not happy about it. I have to take the personal responsibility for it. I can go and point fingers, but I'm not here to do that. So until then, if um, people want videos, I'm trying to keep my phone up, because at the same time when I was warned out, they actually went and shut down my phone. And it won't take a charge. So now I'm in a situation where I can't really even charge my phone up under full-fledged attack by whoever, it doesn't really matter because it was a one zero. And I'm taking full responsibility of being at zero. So I'm not funding any teams. I'm not funding anything when it comes to uh, sports and trading or anything like that. As far as people that are interested in this type of information and just have questions and want and really need a video, my personal number is 513-487-9415. I prefer people to text that number. You can call that number if you want to. I might not have a good response because I have people that prank me. So you might have me see, see me a little bit upset because I really don't like people to call. I like for them to text first and so you can set up a time to talk. And anytime if you're watching this video and you want to know where Rob Holtz at went, essentially my number, if that number's ever shut down, you can always send me an email. The number 13 signs, plural astrology at gmail.com. And I would be glad to you know, essentially um, answer your requests and things of that nature. Why am I doing this and why, do I, and why don't I just continue to make spiritual videos and take sports out of my equation? I refuse to do that because everything that I do is based upon money, currency, and finance. And I can still monetize. It's not that I'm broke. They want me out because of the league and, and of what they say. Look, my material is too raw and not only that some people say that some of the stuff that I talk about exploits some of their secrets and their secret societies so they choose to want me out it wasn't for financial reasons at all it's actually they're turning down my money they're like we don't want nothing to do with you we don't want your money nothing that you're talking about is your money or whatever you're talking about we don't want nothing to do with you so with that I don't have anything to teach about because if it's not for money then it's nothing to talk about you know it's just that's just what it is. It's like, you're supposed to be a teacher. I got a lot of videos up here you can watch. Um, and I've contributed to YouTube. You can chew up on those. I'll still be monetizing, but it'll be for my own personal gain. So if you might, people might see me in traffic periodically, whatever, monetizing here and there, it'll be for my personal gain. I'm working on really getting into a remote location that I don't get ran out of, you know, a property that I've acquired through this channel that I've showed you guys. I, ran, I was ran out of all my properties, every last one of them. 
essentially, I mean, and they're like, well, how did you ran out? Like, by gunpoint or what? No, they use financial charges. And that's like, and they, and they know I'm a prudent person. So I could buck it like a nigga and be like, fuck you, wait for him to come and have my gun, you know, whatever the case may be, and get into a shootout with him. But I choose not to do that. So when they put up the financial lien, I'm smart enough to know, like, yo, it's time for us to bounce before they even thinking about putting a warrant in and bring the weapons and stuff like that. Like, I don't get involved with stuff like that or whatever. And I have a security for us that, like I say, for my own personal gain that I monetize with and things of that nature. This is just for my own personal adventure. So I still have credit and things of that nature. And I still do spirituality and spiritual work. But I refuse to do anything on a mass public level here at this point. If you see any videos, it's probably because someone local or something private someone contacted me and i'm just throwing up information for whatever if you care i accept donations 24 7 i'm out here um essentially on my own I always have been but with this new one to zero binary code i don't have anywhere to go i'm essentially a nomad i was thrown out of every single property sophisticated through this like like this just didn't happen overnight this one to zero binary code i knew at some point you see me, you, you guys see me putting up the videos about they're telling me I'm getting mad from YouTube for this, for panhandling on YouTube and this and this. You kind of seen the controversy and this one caught me a nigga and I posted that up. So you kind of seen the build up and it was going to get to a point where something was going to happen. Well, this is what happened. Essentially, I was one out of the scenario and one to zero binary code is took it serious by myself or others. And this could be like murder, meaning that this is the same thing as someone getting killed. So if you wonder why I'm not doing this anymore, because I take it that serious. Those people that voted against me that won me out of this, wanted me dead. Enough to put a one to zero binary code on me. So if you wanted me dead that bad, I take it as a noble death and I'll bow out as a noble versus to sit around and argue with a bunch of niggas and crackers, both shape-shifting niggas and crackers about dumb stuff. Why am I calling white people crackers? Because I was called out of my name by white folks. So I address those white folks as crackers. If you're not a cracker and you don't have anything against black folks, I'm actually a really good person to talk to and get along with. I love all races, believe it or not. And when you disrespect me and call me a nigga, I will do anything that I have to do, even if it means to come get you physically with a gun for disrespecting me. I'm serious like that. Don't ever disrespect my race. And who I am is a war. Or as a so-called black person, don't call me out of my name. I don't call you out of your name, so you don't call me out of my name. I'm a metaphysical teacher, but at the same time, we believe in law. You know the law of opposites. So everything has an opposite effect. So if you come to me with something way left, and I come like that, don't be surprised. That's all I'm saying, or whatever. Like, don't be surprised. Or whatever. We did have a lot of people that supported us. I thank you. a lot of people from different teams, especially. I want to give a shout out to. My local team, the Cincinnati Reds, they helped me a lot. And I will say that. We had some beefs. But we it was controversy and it was like a, a way to keep each other going to win games and bets and things like that. They kind of turned on both of us, but I kind of got the short end of the stick because I was one out at that time. And the ones was dropped on the Reds too as well. We helped them get out of their situation. They helped me get out of my situation. So I don't have no beef essentially with the red players in the club. But you have locals and people that are ignorant that like to do gang violence and that, that type of stuff associated with baseball teams. And they see you on one team and that's just a way to beef with you. You know what I'm saying? So even if you're representing something else. So like I went through all of that. I'm just letting you guys be real. Like all the stuff, it was real going through all of this. So I just want to kind of let you know what I went through or whatever and things of that nature, but I'm not happy. I was extorted and stuff like that. And I have to get over that, you know what I'm saying? Because one to zero is one to zero for whatever, even if it was for a lack of funds, because that's why they voted me out, for a lack of physical funds. Like, yeah, you got all this credit, but you can barely can raise a thousand a day. Like, you should be able to raise money like that if you're monetizing and making 10,000 a day. I could you raise a thousand a day? Why are you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you should be able to have like enough to be able to make these conventions. And, these people were rich that were trying to get me to work with them at the time. And it's just like, you just couldn't make the bills. That's how they look at the rich, rich folks. And then you got the ignorance. They just wanted me out anyway. And they clapping and happy and that's fine. So virtually I was killed. Just remember that. Murder. Physically, no, because of protection that I have 
literally spiritually installed on me. And not only that, protection that I have from the outside of people that I pay and that are just friends and love me like that, that protect me too as well. Because I do know that you guys see me, I have physical violence on this channel. I do know they want to physically kill me too. And they've tried, but I mean, it's hard, you know, just like it's hard to get some of them at times or whatever. And we've been beefing like that. It's serious. Government agents and stuff like that. So I'm just being real, man. It's been real. Too much drama, I guess, on the channel. It won me out. It is what it is. If I come back up, it's just because I found a way to reinvent myself. So all I can say is you guys pray for me, thinking about me, send me a text, say, hey, what's up or something, whatever. Not whatever. It's all real. Peace and love at all costs.